Other tests for water absorbency, repellency, and resistance are standards developed by AATCC. AATCC's focus for standard test method development is on fabric attributes related to fabric wet processing and finishing. AATCC does not develop performance specifications for categories of textile end products. ASTM does develop test methods and performance specifications for textile and apparel products. One such test is ASTM D4772, a water flow test that measures the absorbency of terry fabrics used in towels. This standard test method is intended to measure the rapid absorption and retention of water from the surfaces of human skin, dishes, and furniture by terry towel fabric. ASTM D5433, Standard Performance Specification for Towel Products for Institutional and Household Use, cites D4772 as one of the attributes that should be measured. The principle of test method D4772 is to set up a prescribed fabric area positioned at an angle, introduce a specific volume of water to the surface of terry towel fabric, and then collect and measure the water that runs off the test specimen. The premise of the test is that the volume of water that does not run off is water that has been absorbed by the fabric. Six test specimens, 20 by 20 centimeters, are used for testing, but the method allows for whole bath-sized towels or multiple small samples such as hand towels, washcloths, or kitchen towels to be used. The six test specimens or test sites are tested so that three face-side fabric exposures and three backside fabric exposures are performed. This is easier to understand with the figure 4 illustration from ASTM D4772 showing the test sampling plan for a bath towel. The test method calls for a sample preparation step that prescribes fluffing up the terry towel surface by tumbling the sample in an automatic home dryer on a normal setting, medium temperature, for 20 minutes, or to perform a wash and dry cycle if agreed to by the interested parties usually the supplier and brand. As with most physical tests, conditioning at 70 degrees Fahrenheit and 65% relative humidity for a minimum of four hours before testing is required. But for terry towel samples, the time is very specific to a minimum of 24 hours, but not to exceed 48 hours. The testing apparatus consists of a ring stand that holds a funnel fitted with a valve, tubing, and fittings and a 50 milliliter plastic graduated cylinder with a hole drilled in it. The graduated cylinder is attached to a rod to allow water to flow and drop onto the test site in eight seconds. The test setup also calls for a 15.3 centimeter embroidery hoop and a test assembly frame that allows for the hoop to lie at a 60 degree angle to the tabletop. A pan to collect the unabsorbed water and another 50 milliliter graduated cylinder are needed. The test procedure is very simple. A specimen, or test site on a towel, is put into the embroidery hoop with the length direction of the specimen, length direction of the towel, aligned with the adjustment screw when placed on the mounting board assembly. Place a pan at the base of the mounting board to collect any water that runs off the fabric surface. Pour 50 milliliters of distilled water into the funnel. After all of the water has passed through the horizontal graduated cylinder onto the test specimen, Remove the pan and pour the collected water into a graduated cylinder and record the volume of water. This volume is then subtracted from the original 50 milliliter volume to calculate the absorption of the terry fabric. Once the three face specimens and the three back specimens are tested, one can calculate the average absorption of the face and the back of the terry fabric, or combine them for a total absorption volume. Acceptable absorption volumes are dependent upon variables such as the terry loop construction, whether the terry is woven or knitted, whether the face is sheared, or whether both fabric faces are sheared, and the thickness of the towel fabric. 
An acceptance value is one to which the supplier and brand or retailer agree.